Good morning and welcome to our opening school mass. My name is Maya Pellegrini and it is my privilege to serve as your Prime Minister for this school year. As a Catholic school community, we recognize the value and need for God's blessing in our lives. The celebration of the Eucharist is the focus of our faith. It is also at the very core of our school's identity. Corpus Christi literally means the body of Christ. As we gather as one community, one body, we realize that God is with us here and now. We are Corpus Christi, we are the church. Please stand as Miss Morrow leads us in our opening hymn. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most heinous fault. Therefore I ask blessed angels and all the saints to sing, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty and ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you commanded us so that we may merit what your promise, with your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever and ever. Amen. At this point, I would like to invite Adam, Adam to read for us the first reading. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. You may be seated now. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Corinthians. Strive for greater gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body, so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes in all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophecy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. 
I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to my childish ways. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. At this point, I will invite Giovanni to come forward and read the responsorial song, psalm for us. The response is, happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the, new, on the strings with loud shouts. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Happy the Lord the people has chosen to be his own. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, that I might work, be worthy of proclaiming your gospel. Please stand. <laughs> Lord be with you. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus gathered the twelve and gave them power and authority over the demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave the town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing the diseases everywhere. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Please be seated for a short reflection. As we celebrate opening mass today, marking a new beginning of the school year, we are also marking a new beginning for all our grade nines, and in many ways for our grade tens after a year of virtual education. We mark also a new beginning for our grade twelves as they slowly prepare for their post-secondary education. In the midst of all these new beginnings, the gospel reading is challenging us to think ahead of time what to take with you, and what are the essential things that you might need 
through that journey. The gospel challenges us what are some most important things we can take with us as we start new beginnings? What you might, uh, you, you, it's an important question because if we take too much stuff, our journey might be a little bit too difficult and it will be difficult to carry everything with us. Our lives are composed of many new beginnings and every new beginning, from every new beginning we take something. 10 years from now, when this new journey, new beginning is over, most of you will probably be working, buying things that you need and want. But before you get there, let us think today about what to take with us Jesus is telling us today not to worry about the details because kingdom of God is in you. You are part of something greater. You are part of body of Christ. And as every part of body is equally impor important to properly function, so are you. Education is important in order to understand self and the world around us. But faith is also very important to understand who, why, and what happens after as we journey together. We are part of body of Christ where our brain defines our personality, our hearts define our love, our soul defines our dreams and beliefs. What we take with us depends on how close we stay together as one body. Right now, you are in a precious time of new beginnings. As your, li as your lives, in your lives where there is so much to learn, so much to experience, and so much to absorb. What will you take with you into the adulthood? It's up to you. But Jesus says not to take much, only what's the most important. At this time, I will invite Aaron and Natalia to come forward and read the Litany of the Faithful for us. The response is, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. You are the author and the guardian of human dignity. Grant that the benefits of a sound education may quickly be extended to all peoples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our parents, guardians, grandparents, and godparents, who constantly invest energy and concern so that we may attain maturity of wisdom, knowledge, and faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all students here, that each of us may avoid the temptations of sin that stops us from growing to our fullest potential and that we choose to walk with confidence the path of mercy, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our school staff, that God grant them wisdom, energy, and patience to inspire and encourage us as we pursue our academic goals. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the community of Corpus Christi Catholic Secondary School, that we may become a beacon of light for other Catholic communities of Burlington, this day and for many years to come, for this we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mysteries of this water and wine, 
may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Please stand. With humble spirit and sincere heart, may we accept be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and, and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, that the Almighty and the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. Well, look, we pray, O Lord, on offerings and make them to your majesty that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer. By the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered the willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mysteries of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in the mercy. Welcome them in your light of your faith. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the Apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you through the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, now and forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the Father, the glory are yours, and forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Bring eternal life to all who receives it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit brought to the death, gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me part be parted from you. Behold, The Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I'm not worthy, but Now we'll, <clears throat> now we'll proceed with the communion. <clears throat> Those wish to part uh, partake of the holy body and blood of our, of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, please come forward on the left side. Body of Christ. 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 What has passed our lips as food, O oh Lord, may we possess impurity of heart, that what had, has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Before we uh, come to an ending, please uh, follow the schedule that uh, were sent to you earlier. Uh, to every teacher and all the classes coming down to by the chapel to receive the Holy Communion. If you're not Catholic uh, and uh, you wish not to receive the Holy Communion, you can come for a blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Go in peace. At the end, I would like to invite Sam to come forward and read for us our Corpus Christi prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, you call us to be the body of Christ to others. May our eyes look upon the world with your compassion. May our feet hurry to help others and to do good. May our hands reveal your blessing upon humanity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
I would just like to thank Father Andrea for celebrating our Mass with us here at Corpus Christi. It's really an honor and a special blessing that we have a priest who is also our chaplain. Uh, none of the other schools in the Halton Catholic District School Board have that privilege. So thank you very much to Father and um, for the, the honor of being able to receive the Blessed Sacrament at a time when many of us have not been able to re-enter our churches. So thank you for that. And also a big thank you to Adam and Giovanni, Natalia, Maya, Aaron, and Sam for their participation in today's Mass. And to our teachers for taking the time in your classrooms to celebrate Mass in a very different way than we have ever done so before. Thank you very much.